evening, everybody. My name is Brittany Gross, and here today, I would like to honor and remember an inspirational woman who has touched many lives. This remarkable individual has overcome so many obstacles in her life that enable her to achieve great success. This courageous woman is Helen Keller. She is an inspiration to many and is known as the Phenomenon. Helen began her struggles at an early age. At just 19 months old, she came down with a fever, which caused her to lose her ability to speak, hear, and see due to three vital senses. I look up to Helen due to her enormous strength to strive forward with her life even though she had a disability. Growing up, she had a very difficult time communicating, which caused her to become very depressed and useless. She met a lady named Ann Sullivan around age eight who changed her life forever. She was her mentor, teacher, and friend for 40 years. One day, they went out to a water faucet and Ann let the water run on Helen's hand. She then wrote water in her palm. It all clicked, and that day she learned 30 words. From then on, she was a learning machine and had a mindset that she could achieve anything possible. When she became a teenager, she was able to write 80 words per minute of the manual alphabet in a hand. The different ways Helen was taught to communicate was through the manual alphabet, braille, she was able to touch faces and feel vibrations of words, and she had a very good sense of smell. She believed her learning ability was endless because she would never give up. This was a very special quality in Helen. After she was able to learn words and could communicate, she expanded her education to college. In college, she was able to learn French, Latin, German, and Greek. She was the first deaf-blind person to graduate from any college. After her degree, she played a leading role in most of the significant political and social cultural movements of the 20th century. If you had a disability, you were seen as an inconvenience to many people. Keller has changed society's views on people with disabilities. She would travel the world and give inspirational speeches to inform people what great things disabled people can actually do. Now society believes that people with disabilities are capable and able to participate in every activity. Keller was also able to write books and take part in governmental movements by pushing the government for more assistance for the visually impaired. She was very successful at doing this. Here is a quote from one of her books that just shows you how motivated and intelligent she really is. They took away what should have been my eyes, but I remember Milton's paradise. They took away what should have been my ears. Beethoven came and wiped away my tears. They took away what should have been my tongue, but I had talked with God when I was young. He would not let them take away my soul. Possessing that, I, will, I still possess the whole. Even though she won many awards, such as the Presidential Award of Freedom, Brazil's Award of the Southern Cross, and Philippines Golden Heart, and she was also named one of the most important people in the 20th century by Life Magazine. These accomplishments do not even come close to describing the person Helen Keller really is. I look up to Helen due to the fact of her hard work and dedication for what she believed in. Her whole life was dedicated to the betterment of others and she labored tire tirelessly on the behalf of the deaf and blind. With the help of Anne Sullivan, through her writings, lectures, and the way she lived her life, she has shown millions of people that disability is not the end of the world. After Keller passed away at age 87, people will continue to learn about her life and be touched with her motivating personality. Her resting place is a popular attraction, and the braille dots on the plaque have already had to be replaced twice because people go there and visit it so much. This just shows you how important and how much people look up to her and how much she is loved. Helen Keller has one of the most inspiring stories I've ever heard due to the obstacles she had to overcome and her ability to change so many lives for the good. Her stories and life experiences has really shaped what our world is today. She will always be remembered as the first lady of courage and Helen Keller will continue to inspire me throughout my life. Thank you very much.